Uh, should I show you guys? Oh, what time is it? We're going an hour and a half. Let, get, uh, I'm going to do this one because if if any comic book aficionados uh, are here that watch this later, right? Um, they'll appreciate this. 420. Is it 420? Oh, it is. 421. Where you are. You're in East Coast time. Merrick, wow. So delusion can be an addiction in its own way. 100%. 100% Merrick. 100%. Uh, no, Elder God is not. <laughs> I try to get I, Elder God. Tell you, I try to get my hands on some Batman books, but I got outbid. I got outbid. East Coast is the best coast. <laughs> Check this out. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna have to put stickies on this. I'm gonna have to put stickies on this because the the cover is uh, not. <laughs> I'm gonna show this. It's just the uh, just to give you the background on this. I will I will send you. One. I never knew researchers. Uh, could get so far off the beaten path till I watched that dude. Ter oh, which one? Ter the terrorist guy? Yeti Pug! Yeti Pug! Check this out! Yeti Pug! Uh, hey, Chicho! I guess I came in at the right time that I hear You did hear comics! Check this out! Check this out! <laughs> now, this is, as you know, as, as I mentioned, I've been uh, just reading comic books that I bought like three years ago now, I guess. Uh, for like 25 cents right so I've just been going through them I found some gems in there some like really good reads like fantastic reads I was like crazy happy with them and then the other day I was reading hold on let me, let me grab this too hold on let me grab this too check this out check this out <laughs> So I was going through the last box that's left for me to go through, right? And I came across uh, this cover is safe. Uh, this cover is safe. Naughty Bits. Uh, Roberta Gregory. Naughty Bits. Number four, right? And this is a comic book series that came out, the creator. It's from Fantagraphic. And Fantagraphic is one of the independent comic book uh, and they were putting out a lot of mature stuff and uh, a lot of alternative stuff, uh, black and white stuff, uh, sort of controversial stuff, adult oriented stuff. Uh, so stuff that, you know, regular Joe Blow uh, X-Men reader would probably not be reading. I was. <laughs> I, I pick up this stuff, right? So I read this one, and this is a creator. Um, the creator, uh, I believe she's lesbian, right? Uh, she considers herself a dyke for, uh, for, for, in one of the pages, right? And it's it's actually pretty good. Where, check this out. The last uh, on this page, the last thing that she does, she's this is her, right? And she starts talking about she's getting. Um, Definitely a comic crank pickup. Definitely, uh, she starts talking about you know letters she's been getting, and she starts uh, talking about um, this this story that she put out uh, regarding a dyke, and then this person got a bad letter regarding it, and then uh, a lesbian, a dyke, sent her a message and support, and she contacted him, and the dyke said, "No, you can't classify yourself with this." And then she goes, "Hold on, let me." Uh, Considering I had already written stories about dykes that were, where is it, naughty bits, uh, with a saying, oh yeah, uh, with a with a letter saying it's based on stereotypical lies and it's not dyke positive. In other words, she doesn't think it's P PC enough. And then she goes on and says that people are saying, I'm really bi and I don't belong in her comic book. So she ask me if I'm a dyke you know I feel pretty insulted by that considering I had already written stories about dykes that were being published in the underground comics about the same time little miss PC was a grammar school learning how to read so uh, a fan or someone that's been reading her stuff they're trash talking her and she's like wait a second and she keeps on going 
And then she sends me this note giving her definition, a dyke being a woman who exclusively beds down with two X chromosome females only. So are you a dyke? And then she does she does this. She's like throws a letter away, right? Super funny. And then says, I mean, shades of quote, are you now or have you ever been? End quote. It was insulting. It was depressing. It was infuriating. And the real sad thing was she was dead serious about all this. So this connects up. By the way, this 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 comic came out uh, in 1991, right? So there were woke ass fanatics trash talking other people because they had different definitions of certain words that they associated with right and they're trash talking someone <laughs> who's been around way longer than them saying that you're not this because you did this and they're like what the fuck right <laughs> throws a letter away and stuff so i'm like right on right on right on and then in the same hall right in the same hall uh, again, a positive I'm not reading the chat. In the same box, I found another Naughty Bits, right? And this one came out in 2004. So this is like 13, 14 years difference, right? And here's the cover. Here's the cover. And I, by the way, I picked these up for 25 cents each, right? 25 cents each. All right, here's the cover. I put it in Mylar bag. So this is Naughty Bits number 39. Look it up on eBay, right? Look it up anywhere, right? it's very hard to get very hard to get on an ebay someone's listed this in worse condition than this for a hundred dollars <laughs> right so i was like oh this uh, the, the reason i checked this i didn't check the, the i checked it afterwards but i didn't want to check uh my line my <laughs> i didn't bother checking that one but some of the comics i bought for 25 cents i went out you know i would go check and this was one of them because I thought the cover was awesome. And look for the cover. Gang, Elder God, I know you're all over this. <laughs> Naughty Bits number 39. <laughs> Elder God's like paper in the way. <laughs> right? So this is Naughty Bits number 39. If I find the, was not expecting that for 39. Badass cover, badass cover, right? And she actually addresses this in the first page fr front back page saying that this cover got a lot of reaction from people before it was even published because she shared it with some people right just to see what they thought and people are like what the hell right so i'm assuming this is <laughs> what a cover this is <laughs> this is a hard to get issue i have no idea i had no idea right i just picked it up because it was naughty bits right and people were going through the through the you know 25 cent boxes he had out there and they didn't pick this one up because it was <laughs> it wasn't marvel like what the f <laughs> people go for independent comics 25 cents 100 bucks good return for investment right <laughs> demon press <laughs> awesome awesome All right so super good super good that's that's a comic book haul i guess but comic book haul I did like three years ago that I would start reading now because I bought so many damn comics. Awesome, fun. I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. I thought you guys would get a kick out of that. All right. Beautiful cover though. Beautiful cover. Beautiful cover. <laughs> Great stuff, Yeti Punk. Great stuff. Love the cover. Love the cover. Me too. Me too. Fantastic cover. Fantastic cover. Love comics controllers and me too. Me too. Me too. Fun. <laughs>